Hello! So in this video I am going to be reviewing some natural skincare products. So for those who also like to use natural products and see what's out there on the market, I will go through some of the products I use and the places I buy them from. So the first one, I will start with the biggest, which is my body wash. So it's Plantanicals Charcoal and Tea Tree Invigorating Body Wash. For some reason, charcoal seems to be everywhere at the moment. I don't know if it's like a craze or something, but a lot of my products are charcoal. It's not intentional, it's just what was available. Um, it just seems to all be charcoal at the moment. So I got this one from TK Maxx and it's a really big bottle. It's actually 946 millilitres. It's a random measurement, but um, this one, it protects skin with natural antimicrobial properties. It has clarifying lavender and it treats acne prone skin and redness. I did pay quite a lot for it. It's 7.99, but if you think about it over time, like to buy a bigger bottle, like sometimes you spend two, three pounds on a small body wash anyway. And I would rather invest in something that's natural. At the time, this was all I could find. I would have preferred to spend a little bit less, but um, it's just priorities for me. <laughs> so this is really lovely, actually. Um, I use about two pumps with a body puff. Um, so it's lasted a long time and I've still got quite a bit left, but this is also sulfate free. So it's quite natural, sulfate free. Um, that's really good. TK Maxx, $7.99. The next one is my natural hand wash, which again is liquid soap charcoal with charcoal powder. It's without SLES, PEG, parabens, silicones, miracle Miracle oils, mineral oils, or artificial colour, it's over 98% natural. Uh, so that's it there. Again, this was from TK Maxx, and this one was 3 dollars It's quite nice. Not really much else to say about that one, really. But, yes, it's natural-ish. 98% natural. The next ones are my shampoo and conditioner. These are from Sainsbury's, which is quite a surprise. I did not know they did any, well, they're not natural, but they're these ones, shampoo and conditioner. And you can get about five or six different um, types. So I've got the argan oil and it smells absolutely amazing. Oh my god, and when you wash your hair with it, the smell lasts as well. I can still smell it in my hair, it's so good. So these have no parabens or SLS. And the types that I buy are Intensive Repair Shampoo and Intensive Repair Conditioner with the Argan Oil. Obviously, you can't get all products completely natural and all of the products that I use are not all like natural products but the majority, I would say about 75% of the products I use are natural. My deodorant isn't natural, my toothpaste isn't natural, although I do have, na I do use natural toothpaste but the one I've got at the moment is a whitening one. I know that you can't always use all natural products. I'm still using products with chemicals, that's just life but I try and keep them to a minimum. So anyway, these are my shampoo and conditioner. These cost, again, they're more expensive than, actually they're not. These are 300 ml each and they cost four pounds, or four pounds or four pounds 50. But I will put all the details of these products below. I'm not sure I can link the TK Maxx ones because their range changes so much but that's them and then back onto the charcoal <laughs> so it's taken me so long to find 
products for my face that actually agree with my skin and that I'm comfortable with. These, oh my god, finally, after so long, these are amazing. They, so I ended up getting literally the whole range. I have got, um, they're Sukin, so they are Australian carbon neutral products and I've got the oil balancing range with charcoal. Um, this wasn't purposeful but I think when I read about for what type of skin, I think it's for oily skin and so it worked for me and also for large pores, I get large pores on my face. So this one is the purifying gel cleanser, they are all sulfate and paraben free. So this is suitable for oily to combination skin types, which is what my skin is. So I ended up buying the cleanser, the facial moisturiser, the pore refining facial scrub, and the anti-pollution facial mask. Because they were all on offer, I went a bit mad and thought, well, I'll get the whole range. And I wanted to start doing more face masks because I never really do them. And that face mask is also really good. I think it it actually helps with um, shrinking your pores. Actually, all of them do. I've noticed since using... Oh, that's a pore refining facial scrub. So that's what that is supposed to do. How I use these is I... <laughs> Every morning and every night I use the facial scrub and then the cleanser. I know I don't need to, it's quite unnecessary, but that's just what I do because I like to exfoliate my face every day. I probably shouldn't do it twice a day, but my skin's fine from it. Oh, and on the back they say it's Australian owned and made. They are 100% vegan, so they're good for vegans, and 100% carbon neutral and they don't test on animals, so these are my perfect product. They're not too expensive either, when they're often on offer, often on offer, I think they are on offer at the moment in Boots again. I got these from Boots the Chemist, and I think they were around the five or six pounds mark each, so I did spend a little bit on it, but for something that works and something that you're happy with, I think it's worth it. So those are my skincare products. Again, I will try and link all of them below. Um, so yeah, they're not just natural, they're good for vegans and they don't test on animals, which is amazing. Actually, ah, these also don't test on animals. So that's good. The others don't say anything about not testing on animals, so. Oh wait, this one says tested on people. So again, I don't think that's tested on animals, although it doesn't state that it doesn't. It just says tested on people. Um, yeah, and then that one doesn't say anything. It's dermatologically tested. And it's made in Italy. One of my favorite places. Okay. So that's those, and then I will just go through a few little bits. So my hand cream that I use is the Good Things Coconut Oil Hand Cream, especially at this time of year. I think for most people, our hands get really dry in this cold weather and then in the home with our central heating on. So this is amazing. It leaves my skin feeling really soft and smooth and leaves my hands looking quite young. You probably can't see, but when I don't use moisturiser, my hands start to look like old lady hands. And so when I use this, it just makes them feel a lot younger again. <laughs> so this one is free from animal ingredients, parabens, mineral oils and sulfates. It has shea butter and coconut fruit extract. I love the smell of this as well. Anything that's coconutty. Oh my god, it smells so good. This was from TK Maxx and it was £2.99, but I know you can get this in Boots as well. 
I'm not sure, you can probably get it in a few places, but I got this from TK Maxx. This one doesn't say about not testing on animals, but it's free, yeah, I've told you, it's free from parabens, mineral oils, sulfates and animal ingredients. It's suitable for vegetarians and vegans as well. So that's that one. And then, just a really random product. <laughs> uh, most people think of it as being used for cooking, but it's organic extra virgin coconut oil. The stickers come off a little bit. 100% raw and vegan. I use this not so much now, but I used to use it a lot on my skin before going to bed. So like a serum. So I would put it on my face and like put it on the ends of my hair. So like from the middle to the ends of my hair and then put a towel on my pillow and sleep with it in. And then in the morning, obviously have a shower and wash it all off. It definitely works well on the skin. I'd know that. Um, the hair, I think it must do something, but I haven't noticed a massive difference. I guess I haven't done it enough to know. But I used to use this on my face a lot. This is just a basic, like, coconut oil that you can get in most places. I got this one from Aldi. Um, it is Soil Association Organic. Um, and again, this is suitable for vegetarians and vegans. So that's that one. And that is it. They are the natural products that I use. These are the main body products that I use, that I wanted to share with people. I hope by doing this video I can influence more people to go natural, even if it's one product that you change. I think of it as an investment. Like these products, I would rather put good things on my skin than a whole load of chemicals that I can't pronounce. And I don't know where the heck they've come from or what they are doing in my skin. I know that a lot of these probably still do have some of those chemicals, but a lot less than a normal product with chemicals in it. So that's it for this video. I don't think I will be doing many of these. I'm only doing this product video because it's something that I truly believe in and I do feel... I'm not passionate about it, but... It's something that I want to tell people about because if it's important to me, it's probably important to other people. Okay, so if you liked any of these products, you can check in the description below. I will link as many as I can. If you're someone that likes using natural products as well, it'd be good to hear from you. And maybe comment below if you use any of these products and what you think of them. Okay, so that's it for this video and I will see you in the next one.